Hi guys and welcome back to another week in my life at medical school. This week was the first week back after Easter which means we are starting our final semester of first year. I can't believe how quickly it's going. Some of the Covid restrictions are finally lifting which means uni is looking a little bit more normal. Stay tuned to see what I got up to this week and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy. <music> I had three lectures on my to-do list for the day. The first one was a live lecture on fluid volumes and regulation of fluid in the body. The only downside to live lectures is you can't speed them up, so they do drag a little bit, but at the same time, it is good to be able to do it real time and potentially ask questions if you need to. <laughs> my live I got started on my pre-recorded lectures I had one on the TCA cycle so a metabolism lecture and I had one on the lymphatic system I've really been enjoying using the forest app to time when I'm doing my lectures because I can't concentrate for more than about 30 minutes at a time so I use the app to time myself and then I give myself a five minute break before carrying on the lectures this makes me less likely to go on my phone or get distracted <laughs> lovely lunch with Jack because our lunch times kind of lined up really nicely and now I have a two-hour group project thing. Our group are looking at stigma and AIDS in the 80s. Basically it's supposed to be a creative project so we're analysing the TV show It's a Sin which you might have seen on Channel 4 and I absolutely love it. It's so good. But yeah we're analysing that. Our final kind of presentation is next Tuesday so this is the penultimate session before we present our analysis next week but yeah the whole point of this project is it's supposed to be more creative rather than sciencey which i'm quite enjoying to be honest and the facilitator who runs our group is actually one of the humanities lecturers we've got that meeting now on teams and then as soon as that's done i'm actually getting a train to pool i'm going for a spontaneous spoons trip I haven't seen some of my home friends since christmas so i'm really excited what i've had to do is get ready now because as soon as the group project finishes i have to hop on a train and go straight to pool to get to the pub for like six so yeah, busy, busy, busy. <laughs> I'm coming over, around the corner Another night where I get so confused Because we're just friends The friends who undress The friends with loose hands that kiss your neck And I don't mind if you waste my time Cause I've got some I can't lose Act like I don't need your love And you call my bluff And that's all that I can ask of you This is for the vlog. Oh my god, no. I'm Welcome. Too shy for that. No, you're yeah. not. I'm watching on the Lydia Killer Martins uh, channel. It's actually Lydia Martin, it, but. You have to edit that out because people come for me. I'll get cancelled. Hi, guys. Welcome <laughs> back to the channel. <laughs> Here with my friend. Well, people now know that you're the kind of girl that goes to Spoon. So, basically, the queue for Spoons was too long, so we settled for some tinnies on a bench on the quay. But can we just appreciate the view? I feel like the camera doesn't do it justice, but. Hi. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't look that good on camera. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't look it's that good in real life. <laughs> 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 the universe hates me. <laughs> Jazz, you still look so glam. <laughs> She's made an incision. Lydia the medic, more like Tara the medic. Oh 
hi guys sorry about the noise in the background i finished all my lectures already we only had two today which is nice um, and they were both quite short i think what i'm gonna do now is go for a walk with jack because it's his lunch break too so i'm gonna have a lunch break gonna get a prep and then when i get back i'm actually gonna do some revision because i feel like since i only had two lectures i need to do some more work today I think today is a perfect day to actually start thinking about my exams. So I'm gonna get my Anki up today and start looking at some lectures from a few weeks ago. I'm going to Pratt. Would you like anything? <laughs> Like a new girlfriend. Hey! Applications are my instinct. Excuse me! So you're ditching me now? Yeah. Oh, Jack's got to get home now, so I'm going to prep on my own. walk so slow. Are you going to wave off in the vlog? Say bye! <laughs> So I spent my afternoon going through my Anki flashcards. I had a notebook next to me and I was kind of just jotting down anything I wasn't sure of to come back to. And this was really helpful actually because I could kind of see where my gaps in my knowledge were. I was also using the Forest app to make sure that I was doing 25 minutes, not looking at my phone and then having a five minute break. And honestly, I had some music on. It was quite chill. It was a nice afternoon, just kind of finally getting some revision done because I do find it really difficult after a day of lectures to do revision. So on the days where it's not so busy, I am trying to get a few hours of revision in. Doing the food shop. Is that tender stem broccoli? Yes. Your big Tory. Excellent. You're not going to include that. That's exceptional. That'd be very embarrassing. That'd be egg embarrassing. See, I've had to move to a decaf tea these days because of my uh, heart palpitations. Just one of your many issues. Pretty expensive one. No. It's my turn to pay for the food shop, which means Jack is just buying it whatever he fancies. We, we go halves on it anyway. I'll we it we go halves, but like it feels worse when you have to pay, you know? Also, I can't guarantee this man's going to pay me back. No, you can't. Thursday morning, I had a lecture on the epidemiology of hypertension, which I won't lie, I was half asleep for. So after I finished that, I decided to wake myself up by doing a workout on the Beyond App, which I've been using recently. It might just be because I'm a really big fan of Megan Grubb, but honestly, I'm finding the app is helping me get into a better routine with working out regularly. I decided I needed a change of scene and headed into campus to do the rest of my lectures for the day. These were two pharmacology lectures on antihypertensive drugs and diuretics. Pose for the uh, thumbnail. Anyway, we're back. We are back. We're on campus. It's a beautiful day. And what are we what are we doing? What are we doing right now? <laughs> MIP practice for next week. Can you explain explain to the viewers what Medicine MIP is? Medicine in practice. Right. And what does that entail? History taking. 
where we have to work out a diagnosis through questions. Basically, we're pretending to be doctors. Yeah, pretending because we can't do it yet because it's still four years. Because <laughs> even if we figure out what's wrong with them, we wouldn't know what to tell them. Yeah, well, yeah, we know none of the treatments or anything. Our GP exam is next Thursday. So our exam's next Thursday, and we thought we'd meet up now with uh, Chloe and Sarah to practice. We took it in turns pretending to be the patient while one of us took the history. So Harry would pretend to be a patient with joint pain and I had to ask him lots of questions about the pain, when it started, if anything makes it better or worse. And then after I finished, he would let me know if I missed any questions and then we'd swap. After we got enough history taking practice in, I went across campus to meet Jack after his run so we could walk home together. Look who's doing some exercise! <laughs> Do you want to get your outfit in for your mum? Oh, nice running gear! Who got you that? Good morning! Happy Friday! I can't believe I've made it to the end of my first week back! Honestly, I am exhausted. After having like four weeks off, I think I'm just not used to working this hard. I've got one lecture today, 70 minutes on amino acid metabolism, which is going to be, I think, about as fun as that sounds. Then I've got an anatomy lab, so I need to go to the hospital for 12. And then after that, I'm going to come back and do a little bit of Anki and revision before the weekend. And then this evening is date night with Jack. I think he's making curry and I'm gonna make some cocktails with my brand new cocktail set. So I hate to be one of those YouTubers who like makes like a really Instagrammable breakfast, but I really fancy a smoothie bowl this morning because it's so sunny and like, I don't know, I just feel like today's the day that I'm gonna have a smoothie bowl. I don't have a blender, so I've bought Innocent Smoothie and I'm just gonna put that in a bowl, so it is cheating. With my breakfast, I'm gonna have a multivitamin gummy. Now, this isn't a sponsored video, but I have been gifted some vitamins from myvitamins.com. So at the moment, I'm having a multivitamin gummy and then I'll have a vitamin D. Apparently, most of the population is vitamin D deficient. As I said, this isn't a sponsored video, but you can get 55% off my vitamins. So I'll put it in the description and everything, just if you are interested in getting some more vitamins. Okay, smoothie bowl. I mean, that is, that is quite cute, isn't it? Here we go, last lecture of the week. were done I had to quickly hop on the bus to the hospital because I had an anatomy lab at 12. Right we're heading into the South Academic Laboratory Pathology block now Yes. to look at some hearts. <laughs> Atrioventricular valves. Atrioventricular valves. Oh thank you Harry. Okay. Happy birthday, Malika! Did you um, have a good time in the birthday anatomy lab? Yeah, I did. Saw lots of hearts today. Oh, that was it, really. Because once you've seen one heart, they're all the same. They're just some are slightly bigger than others. Some are quite heavy. But once you've seen one heart, you've pretty much seen them all. I think. Yeah, you can see everything on them, so they're pretty much the same. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. I ended up getting home at about two, so before giving up for the weekend, I decided to get up to date with my Anki flashcards and also go over any bits from the week I was struggling with. Friend Freya 
Freya has just messaged me and she wants to go for a little walk because even though it's nearly five o'clock, it's still very sunny. Jack should be home from work by the time I get back. So we're gonna do date night. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to make an espresso, an espresso martini. Did I say that right? An espresso martini. So I've got all my gear here. Thank you, Charlotte, for my lovely cocktail set. So you need lots and lots of ice. That is the key to a good espresso martini. How do you know? I've made them before. Okay, so fill it up with ice. Oh, that might be too much ice. Okay, so you don't want too much ice. Two. So I'm putting like four shots of coffee in here. Ooh, that's quite a lot. Okay, and yeah, then... That's four shots, though. Let me just consult the recipe, because... Uh, Whoa, you said you knew how to do that. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I just don't, I don't want to get it wrong, you know. It's been it's been about a year since I've made one. Lydia Martin Millick exposed her. So, 50 ml of vodka, that was it. So I need to put 100 ml of vodka in. Two shots of vodka. Two shots of vodka. Well, I don't want to get you drunk. You know, I know what you get like after one beer. Speed up a bit. Yeah, Make sorry. it an uh, espresso right. martini. Do you get it? <laughs> a double of Tia Maria. Oh, I'm gonna that. love this. Oh. Then sugar. Be right back. What? I need sugar. The coffee. Right. Uh, I was gonna get brown oh. sugar. Yeah, it's normally sugar syrup, but I couldn't find any at the shop, so. Oh bloody hell! This is. It's not going to taste as good as the normal one, right? Mm. And then I think so. I'm going to get your glass. Make sure it's nice and tight because we don't want coffee all over the carpet. That's for sure. And then you want to shake till it's so. Sorry, cold. if any coffee gets on the carpet, you're going to fix it, right? No, we are. No, no, no. We are. No. You want to shake it till it's so cold you don't want to touch it anymore. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Oh. <laughs> oh, that actually looks really good. <laughs> See, these are actually, um, what are they called, glasses? Martini glasses. No, margarita glasses. That actually looks so good. So normally you garnish with a coffee bean, but I don't have any of those. You want the foamy one? Or the, the less foamy one. The less foamy one, the one with more in it. Smells good. Take a big sip, big sip. I'd say that that is drinkable. Cheers! Cheers! Mmm! Mm. Let's look at him with his little espresso martini. <laughs>